talk about it, as talk. Let's talk about it, as talk. Let's talk about it, as talk. Merry New Year, Happy Christmas, in episode 32. We are still on Prince Villagas. The press are follow like Tolle Ongela my episode together with episode one. Go figure out episode 31. Eh, so then spread now, Mukla. Nyatala ke puma e papa chon. Langona kona kore tla singu mengi. So, bengfi sangabele sound inga kubi salamandi le ngwa ba. Ola angrikoda. From vaccine name full. I don't know what's in passing name month. La andula ko. So today, then na e lagu I still on Prince Villagas. The one man zinjan. Ngoba na e wenda i podcast, but everywhere. Uh, YouTube, uh, SoundCloud, uh, Spotify, Mbone, uh, what's in the something corner corner Patreon, yes, yes, yes. So uh, Patreon right now. Na kona uwa kipa kona ma podcast. Una to my YouTube channel. Le sengwa boni le poetry. Uh, everyone businessman. Logo uh, nyenga shogu ti student. Ngoba wa ingi zangu ti student. Angi ukone kufunza sabando. Uwa si student. So yes. Who student, look we are funds. So, Kuluman and Tindo Lady and the Jong Bangish, so Kuluman a podcast, Skuluman a YouTube, Skuluman a poetry, stop one out, stop a little up, is to Kuluman and my business. So, good over Lula like a manging is a good talking, Naba, Naba, and try the good introduce a song doing a jan. Mamma, we podcast, I call it, we introduce outside. Hello, my name is Mansum Kanza. And welcome back to the Mentum Kanta <laughs> podcast. <laughs> sure, sure, sure. Your yeah. Prince, your intro was fire, hey? <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. I'm going to get a podcast here. I'm going to get a podcast here. I'm going to get a new podcast. Sure. I'm going to get a intro that's different. I'm going to get a new one. Then I'm going to get a new moment of silence. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <That's> t- <laughs> <laughs> then it would also okay the moment of silence and but I'm all we are the energy the way back and now yeah. podcast was very different and the way we think I so I'm not going to explain why the moment of silence yeah. was very so good that's a little bit good job on a man boy move is a good time back yeah when I sometimes yeah um usually when I do these podcasts mm. um I have a premeditated conversation yeah with, yeah, yeah, uh, okay, with, okay. The, with the guest and when I start recording um, I put myself in 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 two mind frames. Yeah. Number one, which is the openness to learn something, and number two, because I've already had that premeditated conversation, I always have to pause and think about um, the person's energy. Yeah, bo. And I think that's why you find that oh, there's a pause in there. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, and then my thoughts are yeah. if, even 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 if you listen to some of full episodes. Yeah. After they are done uh, answering my question, I also pause because number one, they are allowing me to um, introspect who I am, yeah. and number two, I'm just thinking about what they just said, so I have to prompt and ask the next question. Yeah, so the pause is just is just to say, Guti, okay, I'm here now and I'm present. Yeah. yeah. I think it was last year. Good, okay, over before. And the end of the interview because in your last game, the meaning Bualum seven to a Korean man for which I take a story and a less pan that's how I prepare. But when I was in Tlale in Kulu, we move up before new Lona Tala, Gubanja, and Yin Lelim Tamini Kuma, so of now what do you do before your recorder? I think usually I know something about them already, yeah, just something, but I don't want to overexpose myself. Okay, to go, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't want to know too much. So, <laughs> yeah. so in the premeditated conversation, it's just asking, uh, who are you? What do you do? And we actually lay out the conversation ex- as to where it's going to go. But obviously, there are some things which are not, obviously, most of the things are unscripted. Yeah, well, um, so in that, con- in that premeditated conversation, it's like a vibe check. With what are you comfortable with? You know, because we don't want to make the guest uncomfortable. Yeah, well. Because I always tell my guests, good see, if there's anything that you're uncomfortable with, you'll just say. But I mean, in the pre-meditated conversation, I just find out who you are and we, we basically bounce off energies. Yeah, well, Jeng, as, as we were talking in the car, we were bouncing off energies to see uh, as to where the conversation might lead to. Yeah. So, so the split guy build the conversation. One, it over because I think that's the part. Even at five. 
my interview ngayo then sto split us pin the start in the background yakho sikhulumela so njengoba ngibalile ngina two my youtube channel youtube channel lonayo kunale poetry yodwana eh ngibone i cool blind le sto khuluma ngayo se kunale youtube channel ya menzi mkonza which kunala ma podcast but kunalo wenda la ma content kono khuluma nge education nanna so ma ungahlanganisa umsebenzi wakho explain lo menzi lo sebenta ukuthi yini ngikuphindo lo tendako Sure, on both channels or just in general in general google going from a business person who's okay i'm menzi ngakubekisela nga i mean i'm a content creator yeah then i'm a media personality uh what other stuff but yeah name my position the money lagu media yeah uh i mean uh, the first thing i'd like to say is that i'm an alchemist yeah. an alchemist is a person who uh envisions things yeah boy that's the first thing and then sub under that is uh, a brand strategist so i do brand strategy for companies and businesses and uh, i'm a qualified graphic designer i'm a content creator uh i'm a lecturer junior lecturer um i'm a teacher and i'm a child of god you know and i think i should just put that all in in one umbrella because it's the essence of who i am yeah boy so basically that's who i am in terms of like the professional side of things so under the words in my mouth um umbrella which is the poetry side um there i'm the founder and facilitator so in my portfolio there is i manage the business i talk to clients basically in a way you could say that i'm a solopreneur yeah so i do all of the uploading <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. i do <laughs> i do all the social media So if you DM me on words in my mouth you actually talking to Menzi Mkonza. Yeah, unless obviously uh, uh we hire um a social media person. Uh but I usually have a team around me or rather a team of friends that are always supportive. You know, uh one person that I I'd really like to send a shout out to or two people actually. I'd like to send a shout out to is to uh, Mamiki. She is my she's always been my MC and I call her my MC/my slash my vision driver because she she knows how to take the essence of what poetry is and deliver it in such a way that even I am always shocked when she does the MC the MC thing you know the second person I'd like to give a shout out to uh is uh, Njabulo Njabulo Maluka he's my uh content uh, uh manager and he's head of content so all the videos and the pictures that, that you guys have been seeing since September of last year he's been doing that so i just want to send a shout out to those people and it's a very small team you know they don't expect any uh monetary value but whenever i can i give you know they know yabo yeah, so that's what i do under the words in my mouth it's not from good it's not from good like in my mouth i kale nini i dilangan because there's guna la ma event le ala pa le youtube channel la namba kona nenda la ma session so i kale nini ene ngwa pe ma lona la kona la pa under the umbrella it's okay you in my mouth i youtube channel okay as not the youtube channel a company ye poetry yes na le channel sne ma event la annually yin lo kwenda ngay okay so under the words in my mouth portfolio we've got four types of different business models yeah bo So the first one is words in my mouth poetry and the poetry is slam night which is an open mic and then slam league which is the competitive side of poetry and then we have slam week which is like our festival that's under uh words in my mouth poetry and then we have words in my mouth academy this is where we teach um the business side of poetry uh we do poetry workshops creative writing workshops it's under that umbrella and then we have words in my mouth media so this is where the content creation comes in uh the uploading of the videos and this is where we um try and market the poetry business and then we have the words in my mouth business which is trying to align clients uh with our poets and trying to make money from poetry so vele words in my mouth is a full on a uh, poetry program right so if a poet comes like let's say temba comes to words in my mouth So we'll literally take him through the entire process. So number one, Temba want to learn how to or want to know how to uh, write his own poems, right? And number two, he's going to learn how to perform them. So under Words in My Mouth Academy, that's when we teach him how to write poetry, craftsmanship and what what. And then Words in My Mouth Academy, that's when he's going to learn how to craft his own work. 
and then under words of my mouth poetry that's when he's gonna learn how to perform his work and then we're gonna take him to the competitive side and then hopefully he gets into the festival so it's a full-on poetry program and then and then at the end of it Temba will go to words in my mouth business and after he's done with his words in my mouth business he will now start flying on his own he's gonna host his own shows uh he's gonna have his own um drama or whatever through poetry so words in my mouth is basically like a full-on uh poetry program for up-and-coming um poets or, or or artists per se so we don't just deal with poetry but musicians also come and then we just continue the process from there so officially words in my mouth started in 2016 yeah 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 yeah, uh, officially we started in 2016, and that's when we actually had the first ever words in my mouth at a stoop in Nalspate. Okay, for yeah, those yeah, of yeah. you guys who know stoop in Nalspate, yeah, it was very Afrikaans, like yeah, yeah, yeah very yeah, Afrikaans. Yeah, I know stoop. And then uh, w- that conversation that we had with them was like, we want to do something different, you know. But during the course of that year, um, I was actually performing at every open mic, like. Every Wednesday, Prince, like every Wednesday, yeah. I was there. I was performing my work, you know. And then Gula ma session de Baba now because I in the Lenyati when uh Bava me guba ne ma artist abo bebanu wa advertiser go newspaper, I think any alam pumana every weekend, yeah. So Mina, my plan was for them to get to know me. Yeah boy, as number one as a performer, number two as as a professional, you know. Back then I just didn't know or have the idea of what I was gonna do with poetry. So the idea was to just be consistent in it, you know, perform. So it got to a point where they, they knew me, ne? And then I was like, guys, I wanna do something. Uh it's gonna be a poetry session. What do you guys think it's gonna be? There's obviously gonna be music, yeah boy. What do you guys think? So they are the first people, uh, I forgot the the their 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 names. Sorry, stoop. <laughs> yeah. yeah 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 so um i mean the owners so they gave me a shot and that's actually when we started words in my mouth you know it was it was actually the first event was called more than just words uh, a good friend of mine designed the poster biscuit shout out to biscuit yeah i'm gonna be sending a lot of shout outs because yeah these people <laughs> deserve, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah these people deserve deserve their credit as as i speak you know so he he was the guy who was willing to help me design the poster and then i i sent it out to uh another friend who i just knew at that time who, who he was uh, an acquaintance who nipo i don't know nipo but shout uh, out nipo poetry. Yeah. He, he's a poet so okay. i sent it to him i'm like bro i heard that you do poetry uh do you want to come through and perform so he posted a poster on facebook right this is now at the turning point he posted and he tags Karabo Mukhale. Karabo Mukhale the previous year won Idols. Idols, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he tags Karabo Mukhale. Karabo Mukhale shares it and it blows up. Oh. Like oh. I am seeing 150 likes, like 30 shares. And I'm just like, okay, maybe this thing might work, right? So on the day of the show, all you see is a sea of beautiful black people. Yes, it's stoop. It's stoop right now. It's okay, yeah, yeah, totally. So for 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 the owners at stoop was just like, God, when the guy learned, uh, what's yeah. actually happening? Here? Yeah, because yeah. they've they've never had a group of, of 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 black people like that in their shop, you know. So basically, that's how we started. It words in my mouth through um through through friends, through me knowing a few poets, and then only in 2017, the following where we uploaded our first video. Uh, which was uh, another good friend of mine. He was uh, he's from Swaziland, Uswa. Uh, he was our first video, and he delivered a dope poem, you know. And then that's actually once again that's when we started doing uh, the digital side of, of things as as words in my mouth. So Benny, the industry, a poetry. There was no industry. There was no industry, and I think um, credit to Kasambo Jam Sessions. Yeah, shout out to Kasambo, uh, Mam Carol, if you're listening to this, shout out. Um, so what they did at uh, Kasambo was to give platform, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, I think it was every last Sunday of the month, uh, we used to perform there at uh, Kasambo. And there was a very small poetry session, you know. And I think um, Enlightened the Poet, he actually started those sessions, you know. And then, we, and then he continued them and then it kind of like stopped. 
But then while I was also performing at Stoop every Wednesday, I heard about Kasambo. So every last Sunday of the month, I used to go to Kasambo and, and perform, you know. So, yeah, there was no industry or something that was really, like, solid in terms of poetry up until... I personally think up until I stepped into the gap and I was like, okay, there's no industry for poetry. Let's see what we can do here. Mm. So my achievement now, because industry, you mentioned the Kasambo and Stoop, and the Standard Bank. Yeah. 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 In terms of just uh, getting into that Afrikaans market, you know, because number one, it it it's it not necessarily they they speak a different language, but their needs are different to what poetry needs are, you know. So Francina has 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 been my mentor since uh, we met in in high school. She was the marketing director at my high school, you know. And then the following year after I I, I graduated high school, I used to go to her and ask for advice as to how do I do this poetry thing, and she was just like. All you have to do is just go in there and ask. There's nothing wrong with asking and deliver what you can deliver and you will take it from there. So shout out to Any Boss and Andy Loeb, who's the owner of Any Boss, and Filna, who actually was in direct contact with me um, 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 before I actually got into that room. So what happened was the, the day of the interview with me and Any Boss. This is, this is the first encounter with, with them. I went to Francina's office. And then Francina had a chat with me and then she was just like, dude, if you don't make it, it's okay. As long as you show them what you can deliver, you know. And then uh, when I went there uh, to, to the Inibos offices, um, remember, I'm the only person who's a person of color in there, you know. So you can just imagine how in intimidating that was. And number two, there's a language barrier. I can speak Afrikaans, but not that well. You know, and that hey, boss, hey, yeah, hey, 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 yeah, <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, so my, with my with even my broken Afrikaans, I went into that room, and yeah, we had a small chat, you know, a small you know, interview, and this is just now at the back end of uh, me now performing at Stoop, them seeing, it's okay, there's something happening in, in oh, poetry, oh, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was always a process. It's mm. always been a process, you know. Mm. So when I chat to them. Um, and then they're like, okay, show us what you got. Yeah. So I did two poems. And by the end of that, by the end of that interview or, 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 or that meeting, the, literally the whole office yeah. started crying. Okay. Because yeah, of what yeah. I was delivering. Mm -hmm. you know? So you can just imagine I'm, I'm a kid. I'm like, what? I'm like 19 or 18 at that time, yeah. you know, 19 or 18 at that time. And I'm like what what just happened because yeah. i've I've never been in that situation before i've always i've always related to music in some shape or form in that way where people cry but then words what what does that mean you man know? Whoa, whoa, whoa. people cry no 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 no, 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 no. Oh, that was the first time yeah. over poetry okay yes, yeah that was the first time I, I saw people cry over poetry especially number one where the language where they not they in in some instances um, they're not really good at that uh, in English, you know. So you can just see that poetry, as Mamiki would always say, poetry is like an energy and a vibe and a vibration, you know. And to see that happen to me, I was just like, okay, maybe we do have something here. Maybe poetry can resonate to everyone and anyone, you know. So they gave me my first shot at the Boma Gare Theater, you know, and uh, they gave me like a 15-minute slot. Yo. So I had to do uh, Afrikaans poems and then end with an English poem. So number one, I had to go back and be like, yo, where is Taletonga by Matthew Sposa? Or where's that poem by um, Ingrid Yonka? You know, I had to literally go back and relearn my, my high school Afrikaans poems, bro. High school, you know. So I performed there uh, for four days flat. I invited a good friend of mine, Timothy, Timothy Baloy. Uh, he's also doing some big things. So, yeah, I'm giving you one there flowers yeah. today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And then uh, I that was on day two. And then on day three, uh, 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 um, 
I performed with another another good friend of mine. He's a big musician now, uh, rather saxophonist, uh, Kangi. Uh, shout out to Kangi. He could actually play guitar and sax at the same time. I was like, yo, this nigga is dope. This guy is dope. So shout out to them for for actually assisting me in, in those performances. So mine, when 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 I perform, right, I I I like I, I like to bring other people with me, you know, and hence why um it was easy for us to collaborate with um Inibos and Standard Bank, you know, because I I think I think when the opportunity presents itself, I always think of others. You know, well, how can others benefit? And hence why Words of My Mouth, the platform exists. You know, it's not just for me as a founder and a facilitator, uh, but it's for other people to to enjoy. So that's actually how we uh, collaborated with, with Inibos. I know I said a mouthful. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I understand. Sure. So in newspaper, it is a newspaper. Because the newspaper is a newspaper. Because the newspaper is a newspaper. Because the newspaper is a standard bank. Yeah, the newspaper is a newspaper. Yeah. Um, so my relationship with the low felder, I think it started a long time ago, once again. You know, like everything is, you build a relationship, you know. Uh, Francina Duplessis, once again, shout out. <laughs> she had a good relationship. <laughs> <laughs> she had a good relationship with the, with the newspaper. And then I think um, in high school, I had an article, right, on my own. And I was just talking about the issues that were surrounding our... Hey, I was an activist. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, surrounding our school and our stigma uh, around how sometimes Lofold High was not uh, really invited to things, you know, like specifically athletic events, you know, where, where we could actually perform and do our thing, you know. So I was just like, yo, um, I think I should stand up and talk about one, two, three, four, five. So I did, and they did an article. Later, mm. later that year, uh, later that year, we were actually invited to a particular event uh, that I was I was fighting for. So that was that was cool. So my relationship with the with the local has always been progressive, right? And in the following year, when I dropped my book, The Pressure of Love, once again I spoke to Francine Duplessis. I was like, "Yo, <laughs> dropping a book. Is there is there any is there anyone that's willing to write a story about me?" <laughs> Dude came through. He did a story about me. And then it's so it's so it's it's so grew, you know. And then to a point where um, the low father would actually text me, you know, and be like, "Yo, when is the next event thing?" Yeah. You know, okay. shout, out, shout out to uh, Bridget. Bridget, um, I think I think she's been the most consistent to find out as to what we're doing at Words in My Mouth. You know, she's been like our head bloggist, Elo Felder. You know, shout out to Bridget uh, for for doing that. So my relationship with the low Helder has 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 always grown in some shape or form. You know, even when you're having small events, I used to send out the poster on Go Now Spread or these Facebook groups, and then you'd find a a a a a a, a newspaper person at our events. You know, so yeah, I think that's how we we actually started being more consistent in 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 uh, being. Um, in the newspaper. Okay, go Vala Nyalo, go within my one game that I best could among. Are you planning to go? We were on a team you have already sent Genile go international in sure. YouTube, but it's okay. Nasuga Lani when the event outside in Pumala. That is possible. Um, shout out to Scouts of Light, Dionel, Clementia, and Brilliant. So I've been not necessarily mentoring them. Yeah, I wouldn't say mentoring them, but I've I've always been been calling them to come to perform my words in my mouth. So basically, uh, there's this nice lady, uh, who Kellyanne. Yeah, Kellyanne is from America. Yeah, okay. So she lives in Akonok, and she takes care of the three kids that I just uh, mentioned. Oh, you know? okay. So in 2018, she wanted a poetry organization per se, or where these kids can perform their poetry. You know, and she found us as words in my mouth, and they are in Arkanuk, and then they literally came down to perform at our festival, Islam Week. You know, and that was beautiful, man. That was beautiful, and we still main- maintain that relationship uh, uh, to today. Uh, last month, which is in December, we actually had them again for our uh, open o- open mask season two 
right? So that is definitely in the pipeline. That's what I'm basically trying to say is that the relationships are there, you know. Myself and Noah Piri, shout out to Noah Piri. Noah Piri was my right hand man from um twenty was it was twenty sixteen up until uh twenty nineteen. Yeah, beginning of twenty nineteen. Shout out to him. He's been like I've been the father of words in my mouth. He's been like the uncle. Okay. You know, shout out to Noah Piri. <laughs> yeah, for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, very, very good friend of mine. He's been very, very supportive, you know. Uh so we have been also uh, been in good relationship or talks with Word and Sound. Word and Sound has has given us their system of 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 their what do they call poetry league, and then we took their system. They they were kind enough to to give it to us, and then we called it Slam League. You know, oh. and then that relationship now brought us to a bigger stage, like being in conversations with World of Words. They are also in Joburg, and being in conversations with uh, Poetry Africa. Which is, they are like the biggest in, in SA right now. Yeah, well, Are you going to take over so, the council? Okay, at least. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell you that I'm going to tell So, they can just uh, email us. Email or DM or send a message. Then we are sure that I'm going to tell you 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 um, basically, if you email us and then we'll, we'll cater to your needs, you know, everyone everyone has different needs, and then we'll just obviously, I mean, I, I open up myself to having a talk, you know, because sometimes a person will be like, no, I want to perform, you know, and then you find out that um, they don't, they know how to perform, but then they they just need a platform, so that that teaching them how to perform is going to be totally useless. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. so. So maybe they, they, they know how to write, yeah. nah, but they sign up for the writing class instead of the performance class. Okay. Then the writing class is going to be completely useless. So I mean, I, I literally give myself or give them time to be like, let's jump on a Zoom call, let's jump on a phone call, and let, 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 me, let, me, let me assess your needs. You know, I'm a brand strategist by nature, so I have to understand what, what, do you, what are your needs are currently, and then let's see, and then every program is, des- is, is, is designed... Uh, or cater to a, a different person. So if you want to learn how to perform first just for confidence and then you want to go back into writing, that's totally fine as well. So people can just DM us or email us and then they'll speak directly to me, either or. Gunan, gune kona le mali yukfunza kutsi funza mali lenga gulama classes? Yes. Okay, unga Okay, we have a poetry curriculum curriculum support program which is for high schools. So there we charge uh, 2,000 rand per scholar, you know, and we take uh, a maximum of 15 students, right? And then for these small classes, it's usually ranging from uh, 100 rand to 700 rand, depending on your needs once again, right? So I will be able to cut this and depending on my needs. We are with me. it it will depend on, on your needs. So if, if you want to learn how to write in three weeks, that will be catered for you in three weeks. If I want to learn how to write in one session, yeah. I will give you the one session <laughs> with some YouTube yeah. content to follow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. So we, 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 we multimedia, you know, we can teach online. I can teach you physically. You can go to our, our resources on YouTube. I can send you some links, you know, so that you can also learn from other people. So it will just, it will just depend. But then the main focus that we're going to be focusing on this year, particularly is the curriculum support for high school because the kids that are the next poets in the high schools. So, scholars must not approach us. See, they're going to okay. Still, I'm going to fara in school. We never need syllabus. We never need subject. Yes. We want to learn more than because the one don't sometimes angry about being mad, but scholars. Yes. Yes. The the head the head of cultures or the 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 school governing body or the um the principals or the finance department can finance such a program. Obviously, it's going to be worked out in such a way that it's beneficial to to them and for us, you know, because I think that uh, with, with, with building relationships, it has to be like a double thank you, like Blair Ends uh, talks about. It's like, I have to say thank you for giving us the students for, for them to grow in the poetry industry. And they have to be like, thank you for giving our kids an opportunity to help them prosper and marketing our school because they are the next poets or, or, or the school has been the main feeder of poetry. You know how how how, how some high schools are like, uh, we are the feeding school for um, 
Stellenbosch or UCT or VIT, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, where the majority of the yeah, students yeah. go to, or UJ. Yeah, for yeah, that yeah, matter. Totally. So we want to be top of mind in terms of poetry. Oh, it, okay. Yeah, good. See, the school, we know good. I at the school, no must not teen, at least to put one five. You know, kind of vibe. Then, see, ne balance the ligi, the balance the lagu YouTube na go ma page enu. Even let's not expect any alloy in that was any open mic or whatever because now on my event. Yeah, so the first one that they, that people can definitely expect is an open mic. Uh, me and the team are still working that part out as to what will it be called. You know, uh, we just throwing around a few ideas. The team is just me, Mamik, and Jabulo, by the way. So uh, it's not really a big team. <laughs> yeah, I want to do that too. It's a team. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, we're just throwing around a few ideas. Uh, but it's definitely an open mic. We we like to start the year with an open mic just to see where everyone is at, you know, just to open up the stage and see what we can do following that, you know. Eh, but when we go near poetry session, I am not meaning to try them cool. So when I turn the bench, I love to go to see. It's never that long. I'm dealing with my man. Yeah. We want to be among friends. We want to go to the park. 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 Whenever I am at a poetry session, you know, I mean, uh, I'm a hype man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a hype man. Nishana <laughs> Sosodin, that's what I do, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do, I think for me, it's like, I am not, I'm not faking this whole thing. People don't get that. I'm not faking it. I'm, I'm, I'm not faking it. If something is dope, it's dope. Even at church, I do the same, I go mad. I really go mad. So, I want to be the same person in church and be the same person at the slam, you know. So, I mean, uh, for me, I look at poetry in 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 not necessarily in the same light but the light below a sermon you know i look at it in that way you know where someone can say something powerful that even i'm like yo man that is, that was uh, then i start to analyze the lines like how did you write that what were you thinking yeah yeah yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. So, totally. so even when i edit as i said i'm the founder i'm the facilitator i'm like the solopreneur when i even when i edit i listen to these things two or three times i'm like how did you come up with that <laughs> <You know? laughs> and then sometimes i don't even hear the rest of the thing yeah because i am so stuck on like one line yo yeah that line was dope so I'm basically the hype man, you know. So if if no one's gonna do it, then I will. You yeah, know? yeah. So I must, I must, I must be the example that people see. Good mm. to know the founder is like, why, why, why? I want people to ask like, why is he so hyped up? You know, so that people can get more comfortable in attending slams and being also hyped up in that way. I don't want people to come to slams and like they are bound to their seat. Words in my mouth is a free and and an open space for creatives to open themselves up and for people to allow creatives to open themselves up you know so if someone is spilling out their emotions they're already opening themselves up and then the least that you can do and be like snap your finger that's the least you can do but if you don't do that anyway like what was the point yeah yeah what was the point I started e background ya kuku poetry because niya lebe skulu mangu was in my mouth. I think indole intale kuku bona ngayong le less than a stand. Sure. Ingi bi digal. So itale ni niya kuku e poetry. Usuga na from scared. Mine usuga scared. Yeah. Uh, mine I wanted to be a, a cultural all rounder. Yeah. So what that means is that I did I do acting, I do um, dancing, I do poetry. I do. <laughs> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't have the body for it anymore. Yeah. <laughs> as you can see. <laughs> yes, yes. Mm. Yeah. So I wanted to be an all rounder of the arts. I wanted to be the example. Would say, yeah, I want to. Yeah, this is this is the person that we might see on TV. You know, kind of vibe. You know. So I started late actually with poetry. I've always wanted to do it, but I think sometimes I've never had the courage to actually stand and speak to people. You know. Not that I was insecure or anything, but I found very, in grade eight, I found it very comfortable to speak in public speaking. But I couldn't find the poems that I resonated with. Oh. All of them were just like, um, thou art, you know, Shakespeare, you know, yeah, the things the that we did in sour. English. Yeah. La yeah. Sour. Yeah. But the moment I unlocked, the first video I watched was Ooh, Genetics. She's a Christian poet. And then she said a poem about, I will wait for you, you know. And that poem was beautiful. It's got like a million views, if not millions of views, you know. That's, that was the first poem I listened to. And then subsequent to that, I listened to Urudu Francisco. So from grade, late grade 11, this was just after at Stedford. 
I listened to Genetics and um, Rudy Francisco. And I just got in awe as to how a person can just write deep and cool, profound words. I was like, that is dope. And then you hear people in the background snapping their fingers. You, you hear people wilding. I'm like, oh, <laughs> you know. So I just got in awe with that, that I think back then I didn't have the courage to perform like a Shakespearean poem. So in matric, I was just like, let's try this poetry thing. You know, let's do a slam poem. Let's let's do and then and then I'm sure there's undramatized and dramatized. I was like dramatized. <laughs> so I did a slam poem, but also they were also confused as to how they could mark it. That's what that's how you knew it's I man. I man, this thing is different. It was it was a different market, you know. So back then you had a lot of white people marking or curating your work. So sometimes they didn't understand as to where we come from as people of color, you know. So for them, it was kind of confusing to be like, how do I mark this thing? They had no option but to give me high marks. Yeah. So <laughs> that's when I started my, my poetry journey. Mm. And then um, at the end of the year, of my, of, just before I started writing exams, uh, I performed at Honours Evening, you know, which is like the academic, where people get academic awards. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think that's when I actually saw, we we'll see, this thing has a future. And then that led to every Wednesday, stoop. I was there, you know. I started in grade 11. So, um, yeah, I was there in grade 11. I started in grade 11. So, I used to write poems kind of to impress women. Yeah. You know, <laughs> obviously, like, I was like, hey, I used to sit next to her. Yeah, like, yo, 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 listen to this, listen to this. You're going to find this dope. So, first poem, I think the first poem I wrote, I, I wanted to learn how to study. So, there was, um, what is, was it English, English language? Yeah. I think it's it's English paper one now. Um, I wanted to learn how to use semicolons, my full stop, my dash. So the first poem I wrote, uh, I said, if you were a sentence, you would have no full stop. Hmm. Your love is endless. Okay. I choose not to be separated from you because we are not closers, but lovers. <laughs> I'd use a dash to join our names together so we'll become one. So yeah. I wrote that poem. I was like, ah, I'm studying for English. You yeah. Know? And then that also transcended into visual art, you know, where I, 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 um, I wrote a poem about Cezanne. And then there's a line that Cezanne says. It's a very, very famous line. He says, show me an angel and I paint one. And I use that line to also explain my poem, you know. It was, very, very, it was a very, very short poem. So I used to use poetry as, number one, as a gateway to study, the first thing. And number two, to actually impress a lot of uh, women. Yeah, but now I don't I don't do that anymore. I've grown. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> because much talent the music or even actors Mapansula, anyone low in the art by the time even now DJ, you know right now. So corner low ago to the own as keep away and a boom shampoo Funny enough, I n I I I used to look at it in that way, but I was not interested in that. Um mm. Okay. Oh, mm, nah, no, I was I was never interested in dating. Uh I was never I was just like, yo, 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 yo. You wanna listen to this? And then flirt and then pull it up. Then as Kulumanga Lilis than a stanza. I'm still writing Less on a Stanza, by the way. So Less on a Stanza is my second book, rather my sophomore project. And I feel like that book is gonna be so important to me as a human, as a growing as a growing man. And number two, it's going to be important to the now spate poetry culture. So what less than a stanza, actually, um, I'm, 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 I actually came up with the name just after seeing a, a friend of mine. You know, he was, he was an artist. We used to be in the same metric uh, uh, group. Um, yeah, he passed away. And um, after coming back from his house, you know, he actually gave me his painting. And I was like, yo, bro, I want to use your art, ne, your artwork on my, uh, on my book, you know. And we actually never got to finish that conversation. Oh, okay. Well, well, yeah. so I can't, saw, even if he agreed, I can't be like, I can't use it, yeah. you know, uh, because his family doesn't know. Yeah. So even with the first book, I used a good friend of mine's um, artwork, Sinesizwe. Right, shout out to Cine Caesar for doing the cover of uh, The Pressure of Love. Shout out to uh, Lene, who was my lecturer. She did the layout of the book. 
you know the cover of the book sorry yeah so that's listeners that's how listeners stand up came came about i was actually taking a walk and i was like what would happen if okay stanzas okay stanza stanza is like four lines right mm. and then how do i write poems i write i write poems in one lines i was like oh, okay maybe less than a stanza and then i stuck to it yeah. so less than a stanza is basically that it's how i write poems yeah. I, ri- I write poems in a line i'm like i'm gonna use a famous line from a movie um as the sun swallowed the moon i knew it was gonna be night or something like that you mm-hmm. know and then after three or six months later I'd continue, right? So, you, if I show you my, my, my poetry craftsman book, there's usually one lines. That's how I write. So, less than a stanza comes from that. Good, see, I write, I write poems in less than a stanza. And then I just let the words marinate. The words just come, you know? The words just come. And So, Guba is just the idea. Like, it's just you know, an idea. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Or it's usually the middle of the poem and then I have to write the beginning or the start of the poem or I just finish the... Or I have to finish the end, or I write the end, and I have to finish from the middle to to the beginning. So that's how I actually write poems. And listen, a stanza is actually a gateway for me telling the truth about who I am as a person. You know, some of the best albums that I've listened to from men is um, allowing themselves to be open to their darkness. You know, a good album is I think it's the if not House of Balloons, it's the Triology by The Weeknd. Kanye West's um what's it called? My beautiful twisted fantasy, dark twisted fantasy. Yeah. Shout out If to you ye. listen to those two albums, you'll get a sense of who these men are. All you right. know. So less than a stanza for me is like it's a gateway of, of telling the truth of who I am, you know. Or not necessarily telling the truth, but opening up myself to the the truth that I've been exposed to and then how do i grow from it and how do i uh, uh, articulate it in a certain manner u chenche kwa by brand or into le sato when they go after le lon charlotte book because tiki pangito le being in this way le na lo black and orange but in bonele le nyel jersey le chaya nge mehlo la ngwa le piya le ya it will blind the jersey then it's the book jo ba u shot tsa sendlele so i think the first thing that i will i will probably do is uh drop the book yeah and then um obviously I, i can't say w- what will be next after that you know because i want to i want to do something big with the book you know so i want to translate it in 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 different ways you know so yeah i think that would be the first thing and then obviously the merch line will come uh but i think the most important thing uh for me is to finish it you know so in as much as i can have so many great ideas right but i've been writing this book for about three, if not four years you know because i think also uh, i'm going through the process of therapy you know and that's what people don't understand as you're writing these uh, as you're writing poems is that you also need to heal from them yeah, yeah. you know so i write poems and i'm like ah oh, this is too much yeah you know I I think relax. And i'm like this is too much yeah so i, I i've got i've got therapy sessions in between as i'm writing <laughs> so as i'm committed in my dang ala makama in on my side as, yeah. as, as yeah. i'm writing you know because I, i i i started rewriting uh, about last month you know as 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 i'm writing i i am going through healing you know which i've always been afraid of if i'm being honest oh. you know i've always i've always been afraid of talking to someone about my emotions because of the stigma that society brings oh yeah yeah, yeah. hey man must you know and yeah. and i talk to in god like, yeah. god why should i need a therapist cuz that da 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 you know cuz you are a healer and then god is just like now nah, man you need to you need to talk to someone you know so so that's 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 the whole process of lesson and stanza and i hope that actually not i hope when i drop it i would have already healed Yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen that about Ngari resonate kazi na ibantu ma auto share because of the figure the past to bona go die this guy. Cuz there's even with some of the lines that I that I wrote already in the book, you know. They can be a line can be attributed to a one long story. Yeah, yeah. So for me, that's why having conversations is so important. And so I do podcasting as well is that I can engage in someone and they can actually share some if not most of their light with me. and then i can i i can actually tell a story through poetry using what they said or the things that we've that we've spoken about yeah yeah 
as he to wear background, yeah, because indole expose him seven, then I was cut it to Nancy Snabbard band, was cut listening, who spend the land, a sporty old land, a sporty cool. So, come on, a matty, go men's and cons, oh, my same chamber, umban, cool lip, then store to bear good spigging, and like the Chinese square, because already says expose the inside the pool. Yeah, we yeah, we've already given some insight. So, uh, men's and cons, and born and bred, now spade, you know. Uh, I live with my grandmother. Shout out to my um, grandmother, Coco Beauty. Shout out, Coco uh, Beauty Mluli. And yeah, I grew up with my grandmother. You know, uh, my grandfather passed away in 2006. Um, so yeah, they they kind of raised me. You know, while my mom was um, in in university. Okay, okay. Know. So I think my mom had me when she was like what 25 or something. I think she was doing first year, if not second year. Yeah, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that was beautiful, you know. I I still have a loving father, by the way. Just saying, loving dad. They still together with my mom, in case someone wanted to know. Yeah, <laughs> because <laughs> yeah. Okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 What's it? It's a cheap baby baby seed right now. Good news. Yes, lele lele la ba. Oh, when I move, when I lele la ba direct. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna shoot you. No, no, no. I, I just have to. I yeah. Have so, to so I'm not gonna sing lele. What I'm saying, I need the RTE because yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, uh, very loving father. <laughs> shout out, um, Jim. Yeah, uh, shout out to my dad. <laughs> my dad is a king. Yeah, yeah. My dad yeah. is my hero. Mm. You know, so. Yeah, so I basically grew up with my with my with my uh, grandfather and grandmother, uh, a game, a Paul, you know that's so that's where that's where they from, and then um, my my father's family is from a Tonton, which is close to Entlazaj. Um Yeah, very hu- not necessarily humble upbringings, you know, but at that time when you're growing up, you don't know whether you are. You are rich or poor as a kid. Yeah. You know. Yeah, get fun. Bona master. That's yeah. why I was in below to Bona after school. Yeah. After then must school, also you know. be a pack so, money. <laughs> but yeah. My 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 upbringing has been um a beautiful journey on its own, you know. I got to experience um the the softness of my grandfather, you know. And I've only realized that you know my grandfather was overprotective over me you know and my uh grandmother was very like she had hope, hopes and dreams my grandmother's wish was to see me graduate and she did you know and i'm just happy that i accomplished that on her behalf you know because she didn't she didn't get an opportunity to go to school you know oh okay yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. so yeah that's where I, i've kind of been growing up uh don to uh uh, predominantly a game, a pawn, you know. And then we moved to Kamakuku, that's where I'm currently living right now. Uh, and I'm soon going to move out with my family, you know. Um, so, yeah, I've been living there, Kamakuku, for like since, I think, since 2001 or something like that. So, my family don't move out there, Yagi, Nigumbe, now so now, so now, I could tell you. Hey, no, 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 hey, yeah, hey, yeah. Fuck, hey, okay. hey, 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 uh, but yeah, no. But my my family, which is my mom, my dad. I've got two sisters, by the way. Yeah, uh, so, uh, uh, yeah. episode I'm like, we favorite game. It's sure. over. It's over. over we're yeah, gonna yeah, get yeah. there. So <laughs> no, what? What's this? Shout yeah. out to them. Shout and out to big time. episode there. Yeah. So I wish we see in and there, but it's too big. We see at Kubera because Bengi expected to go there. Yeah, no, we we still gonna continue. Bongi was actually down in Durban. Uh, yeah, she's busy with school, but when whenever we get the chance to come together, we'll record. We'll definitely record. Yeah, something. that's fine. So yeah, uh, shout out to Bongiswa and Agwanda. You know, those are those are very very two bright, beautiful girls. You know. Uno um, kuluma nemdali. So unfuna go via relationship ya ko nemdali. Oh, guti vele in kulele esondwe. Eh kai. I think I wouldn't say guti in kulele esondwe. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say that. You know. Uh, I do have my I do have my flashbacks where me and my grand my grandmother used to take us to church every Sunday kind of vibe, you know. Um, yeah, it was it was cool, it was it was it was cool, man, you know. But I think my conviction, like the proper conviction, you know, 
Uh, one one could actually say would see they grew up at church, but yeah, I used to run away every every once every once in a while because <laughs> when when our church was still at KMG, you know, uh, yeah, I used to pretend as if I was going somewhere in Matlatin, and then I run back home like yeah, <laughs> and not really attend church. So I was I was, sometimes I was afraid of it, uh, but sometimes I would attend, but I wouldn't say would see yeah, Sunday to Sunday I used to be at church. I wouldn't say that, but the true conviction came. In Oswe Primary. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Primary. Yeah, yeah, right. Early, 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 the early, true yeah. conviction came in, in, in Nalspray Primary. Shout out to uh, Mr. Felune. Yeah. Shout out to Mrs. Melan. Uh, they, at that time, they were like my my spiritual parents, yeah. you know, at, at, at school. Yeah. So I think we had, we used to pray, we, we used to have prayer meetings every second break, bro. And I used to go there every day. I think from when I was in grade grade five or grade four or something i can't remember grade five or grade four between the two and i used to i used to go there you know and attend and we used to pray and i always tell i always tell my mom this i used to tell her that yo dude i'm praying for a playstation when ps2 was still out <laughs> yo even you said uh, and i'm gonna buy one i'm gonna buy an xbox x <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah soon soon yeah i'll tell you all about it yeah so i'll i'll i'll, I'll i used to pray about like not necessarily dumb things but like i i think the one because it's a joke now it's funny now but i think the, the true conviction came there where every second break we used to pray and then i used to come up with prayer items you know uh when the whole kidnapping thing was still big in our space i interrupted the, the prayer meeting and then i was like let's pray for this thing in particular you know? okay yeah so yeah and then my leadership then grew stronger you know in god you know Ah, Makfika High School very angati kwa lastleke la kanyani, kanyani nje. Yeah, but then there, that's when. Uh, shout out to uh, my my spiritual father, um, Reverend A. A. Skobela. You know, um, he's been the one that's been like teaching me like properly, like the Word of God. You know, so yeah, yeah. Obviously, I do have my own flaws and my own mistakes. I don't expect people to say that I'm perfect. You yeah, know? yeah. Oh, yeah. no one is perfect. I, I'm not, I'm not perfect. I'm I'm really not perfect, but I I my aim is to be Christ-like, you know. Oh. And yeah, yeah, yeah. My aim is to be Christ-like. I think umauto ya ne episode leng indi de na mag Prince lola. Umauto ya guas talk to na Prince lola uzubuk. But ne visually ya kona igu Facebook. So ufige pagat etune in like la chase. Serious, serious, serious. Hectic. Yeah. We travel from Wasuga la Wayaga Israel. You mm. the episode, so everyone lola le le la guy. We keep it like we can be But now I'm going to put a very nice okay. We have now come with your children to Jesus. But you have to have now go born a parrot to turn into Jesus. Yeah. So you go on the episode. So 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 for me, it's it's like I I look at the word of God like a love letter sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I really yeah. look at it like that. Yeah. I'm going to go and go and go most special to the only time to go and go and go and go my 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 walk kind of like started you know and then when i started going through more more sessions you yeah. know like like learning about the word of god and i think my rebirth you know not necessarily after after being born again but i'm sure there's a moment where you are born again and then you you get confused and then you let aside you know you let them aside and then the real like the revelation again of the true true conviction of christ came back again in 2019 you know when i literally started crying over the spirit you know when you just get overwhelmed but what how god has blessed you with so much mm, okay really, yeah so bon, I, I, really so yeah. i really 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 appreciate that i am the founder of words in my mouth and i'm not six feet under there are kids in america who maybe want to do this poetry thing but because the environment is so violent yeah, yeah, you yeah. know they could just walk out their house and be like boom Bo- spam yeah mina nkumbula buka wena be kusa itsene america kuke when they got back in the days that africa but it's just okay umuntu ano phuma uye tsanga singo but i don't see sure but see utobu so singakubona ucho ina kabelo mabalane na mr silvin as a pastor kumbe something long aga i plan but my to wenda to will take it i mean look mina it's all about the calling man yeah 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 i think uh my calling hasn't reached that level <laughs> yeah <laughs> my my calling right now is in poetry if i'm being honest yeah. my calling is in poetry i can feel good there's a there's a real conviction there like if you say there's a slam next week yeah. i will go yeah 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 we'll go you know right now i feel like my calling is in poetry 
and then poetry can be used as a tool yeah yeah, yeah. everything with music yeah, yeah, yeah. It can be used some some people don't understand that is that everything that you do can be a tool even this podcast can be a tool to help someone out there you know so that's how i i i i like to look at things you know so then again the true conviction came in 2019 you know where i started to be fully appreciative of number one of the life that I lived because I, I worked at a job that was earning at that time more than my friends, like my circle of friends. I was just like, God, Veleo, we tell me. Yeah. You know? And then I worked in that job, obviously, um, not obviously, but I had to I had to let go of that job because the environment was toxic. Yeah. You know. But the journey there taught me that if you stay if you just stay grounded in in who you are and who God has called you to be things can change i went there last last year right and to see the things that are not necessarily fighting for but people were not wearing formal anymore people were just like chill because hey yeah, dog, hey monday to thursday it was formal it was only friday where you were you were casual you yeah, know? yeah and i was just like that doesn't make sense to me mm. it really doesn't you know you should be comfortable at work kind of vibe yeah yeah uh, we are also once again we're a marketing company. We need to take things and deliver them. So vele let him bash let him shirt. I don't go all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't go all that. That expensive shirt that that I used to wear. I don't. I was. I used to be like, yo, man. <laughs> I'm wearing a very nice and expensive shirt today. I'm not. I'm not doing this. No, one you know. retailer like. Yeah. Um, and that's why I'm. That's the team one. I don't care. Yeah. We retail out in Sugenzi. We do in Kogega. We in your party. Masugo Patel Pogis. I was dying. Yeah. 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 And when someone come and go get it, you know, but let them have fun. complain about them. Six. When I come and go get it, I from good no power. Mister, the Pogis play good in Dortmund goalies. So, so someone might look at it as like you're not humble. But the thing is, Mina, I am big on communication. Like I am, I am big. Like uh, I am, I am big on that. I'm big on over communicating. Would see if if today you 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 think that we're gonna do something that's different from our normal day to day, at least let me know. Or at least think partly letting it in back. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't mind. Like I don't mind the box. Yeah, even though my sister Boba notices, but lale ba ready, but kamu ga ba shay ma hila bula, but ma kuno ga span. Yes, and then, and then, then they have flip flops. Yeah. Yes, you see, you see what I mean. Yeah. So yeah. shorts ngi ma chida le semu. Yeah. Oh, ba yeah. shay. Yeah, maybe, maybe semu. Yeah. Yeah. Eskele u kele from primary to teacher. So I went to Nelson Primary. I went to Lowfield High School. Um, I went to Unigrad College. And yeah, that's that's when I actually started my professional life after uni grad. So as Kelly because in Jomba Usho good to both dilang it in the art of now by all around art. Yeah. Specific career level of now. Oh I always I, I I love I love talking about this. I've always wanted to become a creative director. Mm. Oh yeah, so very really creativity oh, basically. I've always wanted to become a creative director. Why creative like, it director? Was, it was it was something at that time, it was something that was unheard of. Okay. Yeah, well, yeah. If I wanted to be like a doctor or do engineering of some sort, you know. But I mean, I was I knew that I was good in art and I knew I was kind of good at design, you know. So Vele my way of thinking was like, ah, Vele, I'm gonna be in the art field, you know. And hence when uh I came out of high school, I actually wanted to go into marketing because I was so inspired by Shout out once again from Sine Duplessis. Uh, <laughs> yeah, because <laughs> she, she, she was a good marketing director. Yeah. A very, very good marketing director. So I was inspired by her. So, And then, once again, it, it didn't work out, you know. And then I just gravitated towards design. So, uh, graphic design particularly. So, yeah, that, that for me became very comfortable. And then, once I started doing... Uh, graphic design I realized there's actually an, an option to become a creative director so in my head I was going to become the creative director of some big tech company like Facebook yeah. or, 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 or one of these other big companies like Adobe you know yeah, yeah. Where, where I just like I curate stuff you know they yeah. just give me stuff I'm like no change this and that but I actually uh, realized that after I was done that I was in a box you know I was stuck I, I kind of always explain the story I was stuck between Making logos, business cards, posters, and 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 letterheads, mm-hmm. right? As a graphic designer, because that's what the common needs are. Yeah. So yeah. you you got good money from it, but then it didn't make me think. 
Okay, yang yang cula asto yang logo pikau sendiri tu leh ni kagu asto tu na prince bila kagu tu okay. Everyone is doing no bang logo logo demand ni jalan jangan bawa usah kita na. Vele umur dunia tu dua puluh ni post aku mungkin fana nanti tu register ma kampanye. But when aku dah fana guenda, aku kula understand. Apa jing dua aku dah fana guenda. Buat lendo dua sabi kisang ngan tu nalu mungkin cerita. WKM marketing na ular kagu asto tu na prince bila kagu. So create i content under opera min. Jom bawa ubi kisahnya edo be one like, kutu ubi tu there's no one longa tabanga, longa figa gile. Pasti dog gusta kutu okay, gun gensela imali each and every day. But la lo of naga akon. That's why ni aku kena tulah galak es na bu mak, bu mak ubi kisahnya washai Facebook ganye. Kutu imtah se how long? Agnen zap, banyalo so umu veda tulah la manye ma kampan. So so I think that for me that's why I wanted to become a creative director. Yeah, and so. Hence why I had to do brand strategy. Yeah. Yeah. So brand strategy basically is like the whole process of making a business come alive per se, you know. So you look at number one, I, I usually go through these three phases, which is discovery session where I just have a one on one with the client. We have like these long meetings. You know, whiteboard session. We talk. Okay, like I said this. So we're yeah, yeah, yeah. gonna get the because the Google pa gule most to no explain a gle channel. Sure. Nana maro shy ma piece gang man. So we teach her. We say ma figure. We choose a graphic design. I chose graphic design. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that journey was amazing. I had a, a group. I had a, I had a good group around me. Uh, shout out to once again Biscuit. Biscuit was was the guy who knew everything about Photoshop. An illustrator. <laughs> he was, yay, hey, man. He, he, yeah. came, he came there prepared. Yeah, yeah. Like, he came in there prepared. So, he, he was that guy, you know. And he was the guy that, whenever we had an assignment, yeah. we'd call him, like, yo, Dwana, like, can he, what's happening Didn't here? Sound, How yeah. do you use these tools? And be like, hey, Dwana, hey, kangung bonse, kangung bonse. Yeah. <laughs> and then he'd, he'd come and do his thing. I was like, ah, oh, wait, that's cool, you know. So, he was, he was the first person that I, I I saw as as someone who I could uh, fall under his wing or learn from, yeah, particularly, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, because, I mean, I always put myself in a position where I can learn from anyone. Yeah, like, yeah. I'm really, I'm really, really humble when it comes to that. Because I've got two perspectives in life. Number one, which is to be right, which talks about how consistent you are. Yeah. And number two, which is to learn, uh, learn and unlearn, yeah. you know. So, I have to learn something and unlearn a perspective that I used to have. Uh, yeah. yeah. I think mu when I know, yeah, they've been cool man yes. learning and unlearning about it. Yeah, that, that's precisely. Yeah, that's a dope interview, by yeah. the way. Uh, Stone Genago, you said. Then after when they course day one, uh, yeah, I did. I, I did one course. Yeah, and then after 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 that course, uh, the following year I did. When was E three? Yeah, E three was twenty eighteen. Later on in twenty eighteen, I did a. A small creative business course under E3. Yeah, oh, shout out to E3. Shout out to Catherine Churchill. Shout out to Iris Felix and all the founders, uh, all the founders there. Um, shout out to Julian Felix, who I constantly communicate with. Whenever I'm having bank problems, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so E3 was basically the place where every creative professional needed to be oh, okay whether you're doing a podcast whether you are a dancer whether you are a musician like e3 put us in a level where we could actually think that we can achieve all of our goals yeah it put us in that perspective you know and as much as the funding wasn't there yeah but the space to be around people who are like you are yeah. trying to achieve the same thing that you can't take for granted. Shout out to every alumni. Yes, the E3. Yeah. Shout out to everyone. Even even Mpumimbete. Yeah, Mpumimbete. From Rise of Rise of Yeah. She went to E3. Man, man, man. Yeah. When I'm going to see the Lona I think I saw Ong Nemanga. Ilona ilona America, I think I'm in ilona. It must start last year, America. Yes. But no one got creatives. Ben Kona, I think they host on Pume E3. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so I wasn't there at that time. Yeah. You know. So there's, there's, they, they take a new group every, I think was it every, every three months or so. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was the pilot, the very first, the very first group. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I kind of stayed Nyana until the second group. Uh, 
uh, by the time it got to the third group when everything was starting to pick up yeah. where David was it David Banish some, yeah David Banish who's a big 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 um, creative uh, entrepreneur mentor yeah for him, Asugela Aya Corner to come here, Lina Sport E3, yeah, that yeah. was big for us, man. Yeah, I have his book, and that book is is so is so inspiring. It, it's practical. Yeah, you know. So um, E3 was basically the the, the place where creatives like Mo Mary Kate, like man, Molindo, hey man, it it's it's a lot. It it's it's really really a lot for 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 people like like us who who did not necessarily have the opportunities to participate in, in in creativity in that way you know and it also gave us an opportunity to validate our creative ideas you know so we had pitching sessions we had investors at one point you know uh we had random people who who wanted to fund e3 you know and who got to meet with us we had all the whiteboard sessions we had all the stationery we had all the wi-fi in the world <laughs> we could <laughs> amen wi-fi in the world cause, yeah. amen because back then wi-fi was such a high commodity yeah you know if you don't have wi-fi you, you didn't have a business yeah you know so you can't you couldn't even send an email so e3 was the place that it gave us an opportunity to feel like like we are working towards something yeah yeah unfortunately uh, they had to close down the space, but then it still exists digitally. Yeah. But nothing beats the essence of just like meeting Prince yeah. as a E3 working on his laptop. I'm like, hey, Prince, why you coming on? Go look, and then ah, I'm not. Then do we share so? Yeah. You know. So there's there's nothing that will ever beat that. I hope that when I have the millions one day, I could bring E3 back. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Not not or maybe not necessarily bring E3 back. Yeah. But that environment. Environment. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah I'd too. love to bring that environment back. I think the podcast is that environment. Then stop on and see who take Kubanja and I see a YouTube channel. Yako channel yako if Faragong a le podcast. Nan so Mau created a YouTube channel. What was the idea? So initially, um, the idea was to promote myself as a as a creative professional. Yeah, yeah, and then you will note that in my um, in the video that I pinned. Yeah. on the top of the page where i basically introduce myself yeah you know um i what do i what do i call it again uh me in a minute yeah yeah so i basically explain who i am and what i do in a minute yeah right um that basically that was basically the first video that i uploaded just to introduce myself to the world yeah you know? so in the in this particular youtube channel like i'm always pivoting you know i'm always trying to figure out who I am as a human and who I want to be in the future. Okay. You know? So <laughs> yeah. dragon That's in the future nah, yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. So it's it's a representation of both. Yeah. So how you get who I am as a human is through these um I got it from the guy who wrote uh Creative Business and the Business of Design. Yeah. Yeah. I forgot his name. He's a very, very popular dude. Um, he did a a a a a visual monologue, right? Where he writes about what he's going through, not necessarily going through, but about himself. Yeah. So the visual monologue is a is who I am, you know. It's basically like a reflection point. Yeah. You know. Um but I was supposed to do one just after September. But I lost all the all of those videos. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like my card got messed up. So I haven't done that because I'm still stuck on those videos. Mm. Yeah, the the visual monologue is basically you get to understand as to who I am as a as a human, you know. And then who I want to be is basically me talking to people. Oh yeah. okay. Yeah, yeah. I want to have more conversation. I want to learn from people. As I said, I've got two perspectives in life. It's either to be right or to learn. Yeah. So the conversations with the podcasting allow me to learn. Selfish because I ask a lot of selfish questions. I'm like, Imna Gakani, how do you you know? Yeah. Like it comes most of those questions like come from me as to how how do you how do you learn how to forgive? How do you learn how to heal? Like after you've done one, two, three, four, five, what do you do in terms of taking your business to the next level in terms of brand branding? You know? No, I think logo when they are man, I the audience or because 
Now I have two questions le mfuna kwa bamba kuwe based kubuka from everything lo yenda I understand. So ngicabanga lo kwenda kula bantu uma uhlala nabo ubona ku diamond. This person 123123 kani ukwenda njani na because ngi examine nabo. So even ngawa buta nyalo but bengifuna sikhave yonke lama relationships like lo lo ba na ngiye yoqala le kufuna ukuvuka ukuthi okay everywhere like labantu lo unjengoba ukhunimile ukuthi okay ukhonek partnership ana labantu ube ma corporate now like the question it's how even mangana man i think the school la ufunze khona the teacher ngiko la baphindza bakho ofarisha khona spana yeah 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 understand shout out to yan but everywhere la wamba khona la relationships la usikhulume ngale ngithe lo my sister longitha mina ngathatha ma award because solo we are mentioning but these people labantu lo lona Right. I think even in Islam, I say we could remember that Carol. Carol doesn't have enough good things. I think we will abandon the wrestling. I don't know. Or we will use the GPS in your corner. I mean, bad. When I'm going to sell the band, I'm going to sell serious. It's not cool. I'm going to season three. Yeah. I'm going to go men's and concert podcast. Because season three, I'm going to be my sister. I'm going to be on the spot. I'm going to be on the business. Seasonal. Seasonal. Yeah. That's number one. I'm tired of seasonal. We could remember that. Mm. Uh, I spoke to Di Appleton. Yeah, we have not come on that episode. We have not got along. We have not booked a party. We have not come on that guy. The episode leyo. We have come on that team. After that, we have not got okay. We have not booked an interview. Yeah, Zanelle, ne, thank you, Bonnie, for my promote. Anga Bonnie, we have not team Bonnie. I mean, it's like we have not come on that team. We have not been going for a while. We have not got to success. Do you know the person that we have come on at first? So I'm telling you, I say then we have been the company. I think yeah, so keep it on there. Yeah, looks good. Yeah. Mdo ana na babu wake kona. So uglaba na ba tala la ba la makonversation do ba na o abanjan uktola njan kuto ke tola kala sokuuma na la ba na ba tala because most young people ne ba na ba tala agwa mugu ba yindo le shanga na special ni msebe. I I was watching an interview. Yeah, yeah, Dan Penya. This was now before. Uh. Yeah, before the I think it was before season three or season two or in between there. Um, he said that you know, old people they are always willing to give information away. Yeah, because remember, you you sometimes want to recreate yourself in another shape or form. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, boy. So I mean, I play on that, but. He, Maybe they feel like they are about to die. Yeah. Or they haven't fulfilled their life. So I mean uh, if I if I humble myself and that's another thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To humble yourself and be like, I want to know about one, two, three, four, five. Are you willing to give out this certain information? You know. I think that's where uh, uh I'm gonna start. Ben Dan Peña talks about that a lot. Because old people are always willing to give information. And then you need to be humble, you know, because they've experienced uh more life than you gary v always talks about this is that if you go to an old age home which i haven't done yeah you know, but i think I'm, i'm i'm gonna do it if you go to an old age home and you see uh old people you'll see two different types of people number one a person who has felt like their life is is fulfilled yeah number two a person who's got regret and you can see regret in their face. yeah, um, bon, um, yeah, yeah bon. so for me whenever I like engaging with old people. Yeah, yeah. I really really love that. Solely because of there's a different mindset. Yeah. And a different and a different perspective mainly because they've lived longer in life. Um and I think I would always attribute it to my father, you know. And hence I also have like my close 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 friend mm. uh, uh uh Goose Makakul. Yeah. He's 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 like shout out Goose. He's like seven years my senior. Uh-huh. Yeah, he's like seven years older than me, you know. And the perspective in which I get from him is totally different from the perspective that I have. Yeah, I told him like, "Yo, dog, I feel like I'm over too emotional." It's like, "Dog, you young. Yeah, it's okay." Yes, you know. But when I speak to him, he's like, "Look at it in this way. Yeah, If you yeah. look at it in this way, yeah, yeah, it will change your life." Same thing with my dad. My dad speaks like that, you know. Yeah, good see. if you are not necessarily happy about a particular type of situation right what can you do to maybe change the way that you think about it yeah. so that you become you don't become over emotional remember i'm a poet 
Like yeah. everything was like, ah, oh, I feel, I feel, I feel, you know. But my dad is just like, ah, Twana, ah, yeah, you're playing games. You must look at it in, th- in in a different way. So the reason, probably the reason why I like to or engage in conversation with all the people is that they just have a different perspective on life. And Mina, I, I love that. I love humans who've got a totally different mindset towards me. That's why I think maybe in season four, I would want to have people who have a totally different mindset towards what I think, you know. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that episode with uh, Ntando, Karo. Yeah. It's the highest performing on YouTube in terms of views currently. He had a different perspective about marriage and, pro- and, 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 and polygamy. To, 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 to what I think yeah, yeah, yeah. it is, you know. <laughs> I was, honestly, no lie, I was afraid of that conversation. No, yeah. But, I, only, but, but because eh, I wanted to learn eh, as to how people think so that I don't judge him. Eh, That's another thing that people don't realize. You, like, you give yourself an opportunity not to judge someone, you know. So, me, personally, I encourage uh, myself to have a different type of conversation with someone who does not have the same ideologies as you have, you know, it's very difficult to actually find those people because I'm sure you grab you 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 attract what you are and who you are. You know, that's very difficult. But I mean, I find myself in a very uh, um, privileged situation where the, the 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 grace of God once again is attributing to what I want to achieve in my life, and hence why people are always like wa- open to talking to me. You know, so that's why I think I I I, I like. Um, talking to all the people solely because they have number one they have a different perspective, and number two they're always wi- they're they're always willing to give. Yeah. If you listen to that I- interview, yeah, Cezanne, at the end, yeah, ooh-wee, she spoke life into me. Yeah. Yo, she spoke life. Mm, okay, I'll say that's a nice level because I think I three lama question. Then we just don't get nagly podcast. Language hola. Number one, do I begin saying in general African spirituality or what? Most kunu manga la banda bata. Logo tutu ena mabafuna guletali information da gugu bafnek taka. Uma unga lanzela lenza ba yogo tu. But mut ma ancestor asa benanjan. Guti es bandu lo desna ro the what's it? Num timba. Just num timba. But uma u shon. The soul ya kuita soul exists until ibi eleglo muni. Sometimes unga chola guti. Umundu bambi tangu kamala mkuluwa, so ungu ungu chola ungu lenza ba banda basa. Then lenza ba ya kus na babu aku. It's like seeing ni yaro mas bando alene so. Sma players paga ze groundi ni pat as born do do wende gaku. Ngla uva kona gut banga jute. Rabo na lona ungam kipa ufa gelon. Yeah, so ungu ungu lengu chola. Then go shift tagle ya banda basa. Lagu ya gula ma relationships. Lugu chola galu u wenda u wenda jana ma relationships. Ngoba indo lengi choli lenem. Lo my sister is kudu menga lo we ma award. Yeah. Lo ngatse uze bega i marketing manager. Yeah. So utole o kudu menga guze okay. I think that's ilo fail be amisana na inza ba i article ya lo ayen. Yeah. So then i poetry is too mla skazu ufige uba performel. Sure. So lengu utole ago mina ma o kudu menga labandu bonge ba bone lo mse bendo ako. Tala no guze just ba funi guba ne relationship because they know you or what. Yeah. So guze utole ago le use bendi sana na labandu la ba gwende ganja. I think for me it's it's it'll 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 always down go down to um I know it's very flimsy. Yeah. It'll always go down to the energy. Yeah, you know, the energy that you project is the energy that people receive. Mm-hmm. You know? So, in terms of relationship building, you know, it's it's not necessarily how I can benefit. Yeah, you know, but it's always how I can help. That's how my relationship with U Francina started. I literally, she will tell you the same story. When when she first came, first day at El- Oval High, you know, and I was actually talking to my close friend about this the other day, um, if not yesterday. Good see, the first day that Francina came came to Oval High, I literally opened up myself. I'm like, Exe, if you need anything, yeah, <laughs> I am here. If you need, if you need anything, I'm here. If you want me to get you coffee. I'm here. As you know. a student, <laughs> you're talking to a student and yeah. a marketing director. Yeah, yeah. If you need anything, yeah. Like if you want me to put stuff up, yeah. Like I'm here. I'm your guy. Yeah. You know. And then another dude came through. He said the same thing to her. Mm-hmm. So for her, she will always remember that. Mm-hmm. Good see. Yeah. 
yeah, yeah. So I think for me, this is what I sometimes when my relationships have been so sustaining, where I've opened up myself to being like, Excel, I know I'm not I'm not gonna benefit. Yeah, yeah. I know I'm not. Right. Uh but if I'm gonna benefit, let's make it once again a double thank you. Yeah boy. So I think my relationships have, have always started like uh where someone is willing to serve me or I'm willing to serve someone. Remember, like if you look in if you look at the, the word of God, like I look at myself as that. I look at myself as a servant. Oh, okay. You know? yeah. Like this for me, talking to you is an act of service. Yeah. I could have chosen to be on Netflix yeah. today. Like uh Prince Nagan Kren mean. I wanna I wanna watch series and catch up. And spend some me time, yeah. which I haven't been doing. Also, Yagbo. So for me, it's about the person being of service, and also you being uh, of service, Yagbo. And then that's how a relationship kind of grows. Is something good? Okay, uh, maybe in future, lo utongeza or it's a good thing. You are willing to learn. Yeah, you humble yourself. But sometimes yeah. I'm willing to learn. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's it's never been about if you're gonna help me or not. Yeah. You know who I'm thinking about? Yeah. If I'm being really honest. Yeah. My unborn kids. Oh, okay. I want good mother figure to be ni. But I don't about men's. But you bang net sanga ganan. There's nothing more satisfying than if my child comes to you, at the prince. Time I'm like I'm a podcast, mm. and I know that you have the episode and the, the Spotify SoundCloud value. Yeah, do you have that episode so I can just listen to him? Yeah, you know. All right. Or he comes to him like Prince. Ish, time I'm like I'm a podcast. Don't fun this. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah. So for me, I am just I'm doing ah oh, I'm doing it for my unborn kids. Yeah. I'm I'm doing I'm doing legacy work. Yeah. My 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 relationships are yeah. growing and they becoming more fruitful. Mm. Yeah, well, some some people that that not necessarily that have helped, but who have been of service to me. Even when I give them money, bro, they're like, "Ish I." Yeah. No, no, no. Oh yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, you told you don't have to do it. it. Yeah. You don't have to do it. But just know that I'm always here. But don't use us. You know, kind of vibe. Okay. So shout out to Kangi. He was the person that actually taught me that. You know, good see. Give him money. I was like, yeah, do I know? I could live, I could live, yeah. I could live, you know. So, I'm not me. I'm always, I'm, I'm all that's why I'm, I said to you in the beginning, I'm an alchemist, yeah. Like the perspective in which I got from the older people and the perspective in which I want to live in has always been like elevated, yeah, yeah. Like, even, even some, some people when they talk to me and I tell them that I'm 24, they're like, what. I'm surprised. 24. Mm. I'm like, I'm serious. Yeah. Show your ID now. Then you know? say your So, so my my life has always been about growth. How far can I actually grow, and what relationships do I have around me? The, there's a scripture in Proverbs. Yes. That talks about if you're around fools, you're going to be a fool, or something yeah, yeah. like that. <laughs> and then someone in a book talks about um, crystal. Yeah, pocket full of dough by crystal. Uh, the average of five. He yeah. says that you are the average personality of the five people you hang around with. Yeah? The average personality mm. of the five people that you hang around with. Yes. So yeah. if you hang around four losers. Yeah. Wow. Uh, um, <laughs> wow. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I would say, no, we explain. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, do explain. Say, you and when they go to the men's and podcast. What made me start the podcast mm. was... I think at that time, you know, if I can attribute it to this, um, I, w- I was not given creative freedom in my job, you know, mm. to actually build what needed to be built, you know. I mean, I used to work for a marketing company and then the marketing company needed to be marketed. Oh, you know? okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So whenever I came up with ideas, they used to kind of like shut them down. Yeah. Well, mm. So it became that company of... They do marketing for other companies, yeah, but they can't do marketing for themselves. Yeah, yeah. It's like kids without shoes. Yeah, you know? yeah. So I wanted to be like the the guy who does the marketing for that company. But whenever I had an idea, it was always shut down. Yeah. So I uploaded, I think, like two videos. I I can even show you afterwards because I'm not gonna mention the company. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Um, <coughs> yeah, that one. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I uploaded like two videos, but then. 
you know, they always used to like change this, change that. Yeah. But I mean, I've always felt like create. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Or, or if not create, document. Document as much as you can yeah. and then create all together, you know. So that's that's what actually made me start the podcast with that perspective in mind is to, I wanted to actually document yeah. what is happening in and around Mpumala. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that was the first thing, you know. Uh, because I, I see that there are a lot of opportunities in which we can get into as people from Pumalang, you know. So if you and I can be n- number one or number two podcast in the whole province, yeah. we've already done done our job. Mm. You know? But it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, chief. So Come yeah. on. Yeah. Yeah. So mm. it, it, when we, okay. We are number one and number two. Yeah, yeah. Abo, in the in the in the province. Or you can say I am number one, then nah, nah, number nah, nah, nah. two. Now nah, we'll let the we'll let the people <laughs> decide. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. The people decide. Yeah. So mean uh, that's my perspective. Yeah. If I can get pressure, mm. uh pressure is a big, big artist like Pumala. Shout, Shout out to out pressure. To Shout out to pressure. Um if I can get him on a conversation as he was growing up. Yeah. Nah. And I figure yeah. to a point where he blows up. Yeah. Guess where people are gonna run. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. So that's 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 how I've always once again after yeah. me comes in. Yeah. I always have like vision would say, okay, yeah. Who's 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 not necessarily making it, but who's moving, as we were talking off air, you yeah. and I. Um who's moving? Like who who who's a bit consistent? Yeah. Even if they are not consistent but then i can see what i in the next five to ten years i give him time you know yeah. so I mean, my perspective has always been that is to get as many people on the podcast especially from la yeah Mala. Hmm. well season three i'm actually like trying to broaden my wings yeah. season two i actually started it with andrew and andrew andrew cramp yeah i remember the yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. very first international interview yeah, that was the first international yeah. interview you know yeah. and then season three i had to bring it back with uh timothy maurice yeah, Timothy Maurice is part of my network. Yeah. You know? yeah. Uh, so yeah, I've had like one on ones, like face to face with him. Like he's like the person closest to Oprah. So yeah. if I interview Oprah, don't be surprised. Yeah, That's yeah. What I'm trying I, to say. I'm I like, mean, uh, I can because it's to uh, Master Kuluma, Nengen Lelan Mita Neng Ayana Andrew. I was, you know. So but what you could see, Ito Kulaganga or Bona Le Plain, you could see Ito Kulaganga because you know Kuluma, you see Uxi in three. Yeah. yeah I'm, I, I, I think for me, when I started, it was just about, ah, let's have fun, let's talk. Hey, yeah, podcasting yeah. sounds so cool, you know. But when the numbers come in, it's just like, okay, um, this thing is actually real now. Yeah. I think for me, I had I had expectations. Yeah. But I didn't have expectations. Yeah, yeah, because you know? for me, it was yeah. about how many pieces of content can I create? Yes, yes, yes. I wanted to challenge myself. I'm like, okay, at least let me create 25 episodes yeah. in a year. Let's mm. see how that goes. Okay. Yeah, well, so that's that's always been like my perspective. Yeah. Would see how can I challenge myself in terms of being consistent in content creation? So the goal has, only, has, has always been how much can I create? Yeah. Yeah, I still don't have expectations to this day. But I want to reach a, a thousand soon. Yeah. Like I, I want to. I really want to reach a thousand soon. But obviously, it will take more work. Thousand what episode? Uh, a thousand uh, f- uh views. I mean plays. Sorry, plays on Spotify. Yeah. Yeah. Ngoba bengi safuna gubuta lo guzma be ukuluma ngema numbers guzma bona la man numbers. Ngoba man numbers do pick na una guzma streams like gila ma audio or man numbers guzma views because guzma views the net usi paga ngal. Yeah. Yeah. Guzma views very funa ngi ni paga ngal. Yeah. I want. I want. Mara ngi understand. Yo, sure. that's yeah. the way to market. Yeah. yeah. You know, because I think for me at the moment. Yeah. Ne, YouTube is not paying me. Yeah, yeah. So why should I give give my all to something that is not paying me? Yeah, yeah. Whereas Spotify, I want to get a three cent. You know, mm. at least. Yeah, at least. At least, least yeah, get one out. I know. I'm going to get a three cent. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's 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 where you hand content to people who give you the money. Yeah. In any case. Oh even, yeah, right. Even even if le, even if I don't reach a hundred plays, or even if e. Spotify shuts down or whatever. Yeah. I still have my episodes somewhere on the laptop. I can have my own website mm. and I can still sell ad space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. So, so yeah, I, for me, it's, it, it was always about challenging myself to create more content. Nyala met 61 videos. Mm. I want to get to 100 by the end of the year. Yeah. I would like to get to 100 by the end of the year. Yeah, it's possible. So, 
la masizin a spana njani masizin season kuto kesi ku spring yalo o unendela do sebena ngani yomzuk season three. Once again, yeah. for me, um, I'm also trying to figure out and analyze this whole podcasting if it's actually a calling yeah or if i'm just doing it in jail yeah or just doing it you will notice that between season two and season three yeah i kind of i kind of shut down yeah, yeah uh solely because i had a big calling at that time you mm. know? once again going through therapy like starting the process of going through therapy you know mm. so i didn't want people to feel heavy emotions when i ask them questions yeah you know oh I okay yeah ask them about healing yeah <laughs> and i'm still through the process <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, the, a recent conversation i had was with uh chantal bielia she's a film director yeah that was the first episode where i was comfortable talking to like an old friend oh okay. yeah because yeah, yeah. you i think you've noticed through the Ellie and her father, mm. uh, Timothy Maurice, and then now with Cezanel. Yeah, yeah. It was all about business. Yeah, nah, yeah, yeah. There, I'm, I'm comfortable. Yeah, yeah. But to actually have a conversation like this with you, yeah. you know, it actually it actually takes a lot, yeah. a lot more than just talking about business. Because with business, you can be limited. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, well, but with, with a conversation like this, it needs a lot of energy. Yeah, yeah. So I didn't, I didn't want to ask about healing and, and about, I don't know. Yeah. Do, do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, so... I was still trying to figure out the process of if this is actually a calling or I'm just doing it for the sake of doing, you know. Because God knows how to speak to me. Like, he knows. Like, okay, let's continue with the podcast, yeah. you know. And I'll dream about the podcast. Mm. When God wants me to continue with the podcast, yeah. I'll dream about it. Yeah. I'll really, really dream about it, you know. So that's 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 how I look at it. I look at it as, as, a, as a sign to, like, continue. Yeah. And then when that happens, like, everything just goes smoothly, bro. Yeah. Like, everything, like... It was perfect, you know. Uh, it's unfortunate that the the episode with U, U Chantal it started raining. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But that was cool for like content as well. That was yeah. different because we were recording it at the back of her boot. Yeah, you know. So I was just like, this is so different. Yeah. I love it, you know. So the podcast for me has always been about what different areas can we record at. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. Like what spaces can we get into? Mm. With Dai, we recorded at a restaurant. With Timothy, I recorded online. With uh, Chantal, now we recorded the back of the boot. So, so I wanna, I wanna be open. I wanna record the text rank. Even Nalum Chidale in Kuluma, na yenge poliga, min record the nel nel kete Yeah, that was at like my house. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anga like tina pressure and record the tool. Yo, you see, yeah, see, yeah. yeah, yeah na, I want yeah, that. Yeah, no one am here. Can't even. I want. Na some kwato in min ya record like good. Uh, I don't know. Good thing. Episode the ando bag or ne episode the power to content every day. So the last time I couldn't even na say in line. So man record and Joe Bow Bon for Casego with uh oh man editing yes but it's good to do 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 then I think in a episode a new age to divert. So man record I on uh study power tone school man and I say power tone. In the background glad I go my playing pages pet team feeling it I wanna even learn no magnet mistake and cut it because the background so so nyak tall. Eh, as genela go difficult corner genyalo because I know good say we do them don't knock. I love my good my team. Top five my episode lower turns out. Woo wee! Wow, I love all of them. I love all of them. I love all of them. Yeah, uh, but give me five. We should go okay. Lower this one. Oh, I started some. Lower turn are challenging. Jongo babu we should go make some kind of challenge because now so, I have three. I'm doing it. Yeah, lower. Um, I don't know how to carry. No, to just right name there. five. Okay. That's his number one, number two. Uh, maybe I should list a, a re- maybe a reason why. Obviously, the Intando episode. Yeah. You know, it was a dope conversation. <laughs> I wonder. Yeah, I, <laughs> it was fire because mm. I like I like conversations that are challenging. Yeah, yeah. I love conversations that are challenging. Um, maybe not number one, but in no particular. Yeah. Then you know, now we should talk. Okay, uh, why the reason? Go bengi. Tobile Malazo's episode. I was telling Ali and Tandu, I explain oh, why. Yes, why I explain. Yeah. Uh, I think we, we didn't yeah. uh, share sorry. the same um, ideologies on um, particular things, you know? Yeah. Kunuman Zaba, he raised. I know what to go in racism in South Africa school. But I mean, Umundu Mundu gave fun. 
unless you I have agree. a problem with me, I have a problem with you. Mm-hmm. That's another thing. But go to the direct. Like I don't know what's in that scene. You always work around them. No more gumbo ufa ma gusa beni sana na ba naxi inkinga and I ngendo dengi tanza ukutla ma conversation do be now. I think I don't know which season. If my season season two, yeah. season one la ukulu mena boko na the couple. I think be be ukulu mangu se ine magazine. Yeah. Or something. Oh, it's not a couple. It's a business partner. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So ah <laughs> no no angi <laughs> yeah. but but don't call it the business partners. Yeah. So gubona angi shogut gumna nzi gusi benung ba super ngi jomangi don't clear land and spray la pa benu abona ma street kid na na gudna bo bakon. That's why ngi gafana game. Right. But to get aside, good now, yes, but to pay a belong, I can let us paint telling I then not to go to Kumana. So, you in the like allow with okay, I'm even another conversation. Nala belong, but you don't have the race barrier. Good when I know you are giving because I'm not sure it's give me. We are fine. I go to Umlung, that's your race. Nam plate, that's my race. But I go to Gudzi, I'm a 70 son. I I think for me, it's it's not it's not even limited to black or white. Like, I'd love to have. Um, Indians, yeah. to have Asians, you know, yeah, yeah. Uh, when the opportunity comes. Mm. Uh, but I think for me, it's just like knowing and, and understanding that I am comfortable in my own skin. That's yeah. the first thing. I'm a black man. I'm a yeah. beautiful black man. Yes. And I am comfortable to be in my own skin. You yeah. know? And the conversations that I have with uh, people from other races, yeah. number one, I have to be empathetic. You know, I have to uh, understand you know, which what they are going through and what, and what their challenges mm. are, you know. Um, and, in, and in some cases, or if not most, they, right now, they kind of f- feel left out or, out of any other kind of conversation. Yeah, you know. yeah they do feel left mm. out, you know. So, I mean, as a, as a, as a podcaster or as, a someone, as someone who's within the media space, I should represent every sort of group yeah the media the is podcast. not a color is, is you know totally. media doesn't have a color if you enjoy the mensam kind of podcast whether you black or white or indian like it doesn't it does it shouldn't matter yeah, yeah you know so sure maybe i have um that as you're saying that bone to be comfortable yeah you know around other races you know um obviously i did have my moments where I was uncomfortable, not necessarily in the podcast, but yeah. outside of the podcast. Yeah, no magu you know. workspace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. you know. But I think for me, it's just like being empathetic. Yeah. You know, you you if you actually get to understand or just have an open conversation with a with a human, yeah. you will get to understand that, hey man, like we are all trying to do this life thing, yeah. and then there's no color that that is involved or should be involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Uh, so shout out to um, Dominique yeah. and um, shout out to uh, Zander. Yeah. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> uh, shout out to Zander for actually being uh, being open, you know, because yeah. once again, uh, these are the people that I also used to school with at Unigrad. Yo, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 So once again, it's, 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 it's having good and, and proper solid relationships that actually lead to um, you helping them in some shape or form. I don't know I don't know what the podcast will do or has done for them. Yeah. You know, and I don't know what me presenting their type of media out there uh will do for me, you know. So for me I'm always I'm always like uh at a point of humility and empathy, you know. Mm. Uh maybe maybe they're also looking for uh, a few black voices to help them within their within their work, you know. Uh which I think they they've gotten a few you know uh but yeah i think for me it's just like how can i help him yeah. whether you are black white or indian or asian or colored or whatever you know so yeah even colored people they feel left out you know yeah, yeah. it's always been about the black people of south africa mm. you know yeah yeah if we're being honest yeah you know no uh give me bugenjan i know more born i could say about creating like if we buga aka Trevor Noah, yeah, they open with the Bava legging up and the party back on a good letter e contribution. Sure, bona, we understand, yeah. So, you know, we born a contribution, yeah, with that. Yeah. But Bakulum, I think, uh, mm-hmm. if one bugal pugla Trevor Noah, it's a pawn, it's either pawn into crime or yeah. pawn as a pawn, 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 pawn yeah, 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 I understand. So, na aka, I think who is the number is the color person, would they speak about these things? Yeah, understand. Net good simple, but we don't follow. Oh, yeah. Or as many, yeah. 
or bona ba creator le platform as ba niki tine le platform jo ba usho ya na na so yeah. everyone yalo lo funa ukulandzela from social media because uh, nga tsini le facebook i think and tweet it shows ukuthi bobukela ma pokemon with the minyao so it's in social media henry you have the channel you have the yeah i'm i'm not on twitter yeah yeah like uh, now we forget. I don't know good send any chat up look anything like funa yambisana ne blacks ne black text ne black twitter and now we create this thing banga cabanga kuthi we create that stigma anga cabanga ukuthi phela i black twitter i khona understand like being chila kuthi something le khona so okay you know the twitter i'm i'm not on twitter which one black twitter or or I'm not, any twitter i'm not hey <laughs> hey hey man listen listen like okay for me for me for me mean i'm the type of person who likes to follow people by like pumalang oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, the, i'm that type of person like eh, you know especially people who are movers uh, however i think in most cases if not some i don't like what they retweet oh, okay yeah um i could personally i could have twitter yeah but i'd be following like business and poetry and all of those other things but I mean I'm the type of person if 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 I say that I want to document yeah here ne, yeah it should be active also on twitter yeah yeah well, but I see what up yeah yeah so you know on twitter okay I'm not on twitter mm. twitter for me is, I feel like it's a bit toxic yeah yeah but I am Menzim Kwanza uh SA on Facebook um Menzim Kwanza SA on LinkedIn uh that's why i'm actually the most uh easy easily to get uh mainzim konza sa on twitter or at sorry not on twitter on <laughs> on instagram yeah or at meow yeah. at m double i a w u underscore two zero uh meow and what 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 other social medias are there i don't have tiktok yeah it shows you you don't have then as kulu mengale was in my mouth yeah was in my mouth i'm definitely on twitter mm. um yeah 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 yeah, yeah. cuz you know follow, poetry is everywhere yeah, yeah, yeah. Poetry is everywhere, yeah, yeah. Poetry is everywhere you know um that's words in my mouth poetry or words in my mouth p letter p on twitter uh on youtube it's words in my mouth poetry Oh we also have a website yeah. words in my mouth poetry.co.za yeah uh, we also have facebook words in my mouth poetry slam yeah. but i will change it into words in my mouth poetry so that when people go on google words in my mouth poetry will you'll find any th- everything yeah so also on google we are there words in my mouth poetry you'll just see 17 street street that's where we are at and yeah that's about it then menzim konza youtube channel menzim konza youtube yeah menzim konza sa menzim konza sa on youtube so you in this i expect uh as not like who is in my mouth then it's being a like youtube yeah who words in my mouth i think more content yeah on on words in my mouth we are at um 130 32 if not 33 pieces of content yeah we want to get it to 200 mm. yeah yeah um we want to also launch our tiktok yeah yeah our tiktok account there's there's more there's more opportunities there yeah in yeah, the yeah. next two in the next two or year tiktok tiktok's window for people going viral might close yeah well because of the tiktok is like well yeah don't say it well yeah so if now you know yeah probably this year you know yeah i uh probably this year so on words in my mouth on the words in my mouth side you can expect a lot of uh content a lot of poetry series mm. yeah we've shot we we shot a documentary open mask season 1 yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and then i don't i don't think we're going to do open mask season 2's documentary because uh we've got we've got a lot of things in the pipeline yeah we've got a new poetry series called um underwrite yeah um we want to hire more people Mm-hmm. or rather get Mamiki and Jabula on a very very consistent basis as in like uh employee kind of vibes you know because at the at the, at the moment they're just doing it out of their own spare and free time yeah, you know yeah yeah so i want to hire people i need a social media manager so if you're out there and you want to uh use words in my mouth as a case study for your next job 
I am open. Yes. You know, just contact me if you want to be a photographer. Like, contact me. Like, the space is there. It's available if you want to build your portfolio yeah. through us. Like, it's there. Uh, another dude who, just an example, who built their portfolio through us was Kamu Soka. Yeah. Yeah. He shot for, uh, what's the show? Um, was it Deep City? He shot photos for I think it Deep City. I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah no show. Those, yeah. 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 But it was one of those um Mzansi Magic shows. If not Deep City, it's the, it's the other one. It's the other one again. Uh, yeah, I'm not in TV. Oh, no, no, you're not. Uh, yeah, I mean, we get YouTube only, All to right. be honest. <laughs> Serious, I only watch YouTube, like, in yeah, TV, yeah, I'm not yeah. into TV. So, so that's that's the type of people that, or if you have the motivation for, mm. I think I can also plug you to a lot of things. These people have also, oh, me, don't know why. Yeah, yeah uh, Umar Vido Photography, he went from shooting with us to shooting with any boss, you know. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not saying this, just just so you can yeah. um um just come to words in my mouth. I'm saying this because there's always for me there's always an end goal. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I don't think Mamike and Jabudo will even stay long. Yeah. Uh in, in on words in my mouth. I'm always I'm always trying to look for new faces and new pe- new people who can actually drive the vision, you know. Yeah. And I'll be the only one that, that, that is like consistent because I'm the father yeah, for now. and the facilitator, you know. So we have to change the way that we do things and yeah you can expect a lot of content like especially like weekly content we are literally going to go all out this year then go channel yakho in the bang ayibukela koy because yes ni ku season 3 congratulations by the way when you span in the chief wang fun we to do a podcast in pumalanga is not is i don't know la ku a drop in kuzi njani but eh la lang biya khona yeah la lang biya khona ne ma month yeah. Sure. I'm happy with this display the equipment. Yeah. So, yeah. I'm happy yeah. with this season 3. Yo. That's yeah. a huge achievement. Because I, number one, I'll vlog it with it one. So, I'll go back easy to cool with it. But people, look, travel. I remember in the interview, I was like, I'm going to show you the camera. I'm going to show you the camera. Yeah, yeah. Axel Palish. And now, where that I'm going to show you the camera. Sometimes I start using Vula Ivelanin. Yeah. No, you don't. And also, like, even with the sound, you know, like, we try and make it very m- <laughs> sound like it's like we're in a studio, yeah, but yeah. we're actually not. The yeah, wind yeah. is blowing. Mm. We've got our Konje Wagbutanga and my pop filter. Yeah. Yes, yeah. my pop filter. We've got pop filters so that you guys don't actually hear the the water, even though it would be beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah. yeah. I mean, I loved it. Yeah, That's yeah, why yeah. I was going to go and move. But like, yeah. yeah. You know, you experience. Yeah, yeah. You know, but for some people, it's like... Uh, it's not professional. It's not professional. <laughs> I eh. So we literally try our utmost best. Yeah. Shout out to you, Prince, for actually like reaching out to me and asking, what should I buy, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, 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 I, and I think also, and I, mean, I also found out later, Guti, like the... the um, is the, the is interface? The, yeah, it's the beginning. It's it's a start. Yeah, but it's not necessarily a necessity. If you just get a portable recorder, ah, you can record as many episodes as you want. Yeah, 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 boy. So I I think I just want to say thank you and appreciate you for, uh, firstly putting me on PCR. You know, with that interview. Nah, no, yeah. Now yeah. she's who Rise FM, yeah. She's she's at Rise FM. Yeah. Hey, hey, man. Hey man, I should actually I should actually get on the on my podcast. Yeah. The long go for an low and the e podcast rise of him because already be saying the interview rise of him. So good um ling my the and I podcast now apparently walk. Yeah. Let's cut a celebrate e podcast day. So yes, we go with logo. But we produce the show. Oh shout out, shout out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank you, thank you for that opportunity, you know. And I don't I don't take these opportunities for granted, you know. Uh solely because it could have been anyone. Anyone could have been been doing a podcast. Yeah, like, yeah. Literally anyone. Yeah, yeah. You know. But I'm just so satisfied and happy that you were able to get in contact with me and to plug me with first of all, um, uh, uh, the PC, the PCR FM interview. Yeah. And then, and then later at a later stage, it continued into something else. Yeah, know? yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I, I just want to say thank you, bro. I really appreciate it. Yeah, this yeah. platform you celebrate about most. 
is celebrate abantu laba nika abantu ma opportunities because ani bina le ntuba lo ukuthi ba celebrate because always so le ubuka ukuthi ngilo nika ba ni ntuba nebantu laba create ama platform so in your podcast ngifunze lo cool kabi and yes ubanikile lama platform it was in my mouth and I should not be being a cock being a one because oh corner like that's a way in a corner and Mary I think it's unmasked at some time ne King Harris Avenue like and Langan is a corner so that's where the long one corner the the loner so only yeah. bambe late but you go book a live podcast yeah if you have full number one dog nigga yeah because no one yes I've no man yeah, like yeah. even no man I told you yes Four or five. Yeah. Yeah, we'll start. Yeah, we'll start. Hey, show between him now is number one because give me. Yeah. Yeah. I'll tell you, you want how many my interviews? So when did laying thirty two game? Uh, I mean, uh, okay, I don't know. you don't count the numbers, I but count. Then I show you. I think I'm on twenty two or something. But the yeah. conversation, visually, everything, so, yeah. the, it's good even the platform. So right. I think it's good right, good documentary history. Yeah, yeah. once. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So then it's okay, yeah. but you get what you want. Now, when they get a partner, the content is not good. It's not good. It's not Nam me bang sa bak tala party gubona gutsi because nam put us lebeng wati lebeng funa gwend is this gutsi celebrate our work party yes, to create yeah. um seven to go and mobile dinya dinu jongo ba ushonya gutsi one bandu funa gbani gam seven sure. most of my podcast ladies now agani e bandu um seven so yeah. mina lo ta give me mundo to create um seven gutsi mangi si yeah. ngu promote yeah. as a businessman sure. niat gutsi ekunene si funa si kuli say business yaku sure. because already yeah. umangdo kulu mangi campaigni dama retailer laba ali agasa u create um seven dinya we understand you know um just 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 to segue into what you are talking about you know um in as much as we can talk badly about the macg podcast or what's been recently been happening yeah you know i think for me the mm. most beautiful thing that happened yeah to that podcast is that he was able to hire 30 people yeah 30 yeah just on audio yeah. and visual yeah yeah man tell me something have you ever heard of that in south africa no nah. so i just i just wanted to say shout out to mac g yeah for hiring 30 people we we know which there's a lot of controversy uh, but mean that's where i also see myself in the next future no men for prince vidagas yeah Give me okay, good. Let me show you podcast. Nah, nah. The podcast you make, the only thing they they have to do is good. Okay, this is the cheapest podcast. Sure. Let me get all. Let me go there. Let me go. Okay, this is the yeah. display. Even let me get something. Let me get seven days because I'm using this now. Maro mm. abobon. Then uh, I don't care. Go to Wendigan because in the thing I think good is very bad. Funa go move. So yes, soon school man make she make she is back and retweet it. Le, as I'm being some boy, some support. They inspire the banding. The banda. My podcast, even though Kasha Bando, I'm happy with David Mashabel and we don't know who notice and make sure. I think in the letter when they're listening about it, you go to once see cool, like media. If anyone lola little of not color e podcast, so you buy thread to Lamalon and Jamal Bangish, I don't watch TV. I mean, yeah, um, we're gonna eat YouTube. Yeah, yeah, but see, to my thread, we go to the school, it's two hours, 11 minutes. Then I'm speaking. Yeah, That's crazy. Bo. So, when you're talking about programming, I'm not going to say it's by challenging. Dog. So, unless you're going to say it's give me this, nothing, then I'm going to make sure that I'm a fan. I'm yeah. going to follow, I'm going to subscribe, and yeah. I'm early. Sure. So, I still, I'm going to mention my cons, I'm going to write. So, if I'm not going to say it, because I'm not in the team, I'm going to cancel. I yeah, understand. Yeah. So, I yeah. I think we, 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 we have been, oh, man. Yeah. But that's, this is a conversation for another day, cancel culture. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll have it. I, I need to get proper research on it. Yeah. You know? But I think, like, what we've been speaking about is that um, what would be beautiful mm. uh, for us to sit down again next year mm. or at the end of this year to be like Ishtuan, at least sing the camera operator or at least sing the sing the sound engineer or at least sing the editor yeah you know um i think that would be beautiful for us to hire our own people yeah you know? yeah it's happened dude like nyakbona go on gene nyakbona vele it's bad yeah but like you know especially with the recent events that's been happening uh, but the fact that he is he's able to hire 30 people. No, I mean, uh, on my... I'm s- sure they're getting paid. Good yeah, they're guys. getting paid. Patreon, Pedro, now you're in there. I'm sure you're going to get paid. I think... I'm not going to get paid. 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 I'm not going to get paid.
sell to sell bids a young guy in Funzena school when yeah oh Irish band lover over eight in Kuluma and Mululing and a nuts close to 100 in Yalula Gaya corner in Kulumena Tabi Solima Lendo Leni and the Egu was off my mouth a gume casinia bubane make yeah Na ye u hire riche bandu eh bandi ge bandu e exposure like my young channel is go make a senior bone my mm-hmm. newspaper. So everyone ling in bitag was called on a prince with a if mango celebrate it's either you gonna create jobs. Yeah. Yeah, understand. So then see support and jani business. So I think uh twenty twenty two we're gonna be good. Yeah, Isaac may COVID or not, hey, we're, yeah, gonna, gonna, we're be gonna be good. Be good. Yeah. yeah mm. So spell it out as step set to episode thirty two. If you have episode 1, you have episode 30, press a follow, la, then you can see all. You can see all the conversations. You can conversation. Men zim follow the YouTube. YouTube is easy. Then you press a subscribe. You can see all the conversations. 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 You can see all Go Spotify. Yeah. On Spotify, it's the Men zim Konza podcast. On um, Apple Podcasts, it's Menzim Konza Podcast. Uh, and on Google Podcasts, it's Menzim Konza Podcast. Gonga Yapa. Yeah, Gunja, Loge, but in the Ranga Chela, you're a prince now, Menzim, Mamma, and Tokala, and I get started so steady as one man episode. Let's talk about it, us talk. Let's talk about it, us talk. Let's talk about it, us talk.